What's up, everybody? Welcome to Parks' Rant Episode 1. I am Parks, and I will be your fucking host, or whatever you want to call it, for this stupid thing. Today's date is January 8th, 2017. It's a Sunday. We are finally a week into the year. Um, this is going to be a new channel here. What it is, is it's basically all about just... Me, my thoughts on everything, the way my life goes, it's, you know, me talking about things that have happened, and a good chance about me bitching about a lot of fucking stuff. Anything, in general. Just whatever happens to piss me off that day, I'll throw in a video, send it out to you guys. Hopefully you can get a good laugh at it, maybe you'll agree with me, you can freaking write comments, all this shit, whatever, you know how the damn internet works. So, I'd like to start off by saying, hey, you know, 2017, here we are. How was your guys' new year? Hope you had a good one. I sure as hell did. I started off uh, the new year in San Diego, uh, not downtown specifically, but in a, uh, the Hotel Circle of San Diego. I was with uh, some friends and a girlfriend. We got to go see Dad Alive. And man, that was a that was a pretty good show. Not uh, typically what they I see from them, but it was pretty good. If you've never seen Dad Alive, you gotta go check them out. They're an awesome DJ duo, and man, they they really know how to bring energy. It's freaking it's fucking sweet. Um, that being said, the reason I'm saying it wasn't like what it was uh, the other times I've seen them because I've seen them probably eight or nine times so far, and. This time around, it was different. They weren't playing their standard type of music. They uh, seemed to have adjusted for the type of uh, venue it was. Or not the venue, but the type of event it was. It seemed like this event was more uh, trap music. If you know anything about the EDM world, the trap music is more of the... Uh, I guess it's slower, more of like a gangster rap type EDM Thing. I don't know. I could be just talking out of my ass. If anybody knows exactly what it is, then, uh, you know, let me know. And then you could break it down better than what I know. Uh, but uh, the last time I saw them back in October, I believe it was, uh, we got to see them. They did a pretty awesome house style set, which is a lot more upbeat, uh, easier to dance to, I think. A lot of bounce style music, if that's what you want to call it. So... You know, the first time I want to talk about fucking me bitching over here is that at this event, we were there, and uh, uh, this is the first time I've seen these guys ever stop a show mid-set. It, it was ridiculous, and the reason I fucking hated it because I knew we were at kind of a trap event, which I feel is bringing all the wrong people into the EDM scene. Because normally it's a lot of really nice people, uh, happy-go-lucky kind of folks. <clears throat> but uh, this time it was different. It wasn't the same. Uh, like I said, the, the trap people, they're, they're, they're not standard EDM people. It's just they, they are more... They, they feel, I feel like they have to act tough all the time. You know, they got to be like the gangster, hardcore dude looking at me. Like, look at me, man. I listen to fucking DMX or fucking whatever. I'm gangster. Freaking wearing your saggy pants and fucking hang off your ass. And, like you're fucking trying to show the whole world your, your goddamn brown eye and your goddamn rosy cheeks. Who gives a shit? You know, so that wasn't... Uh, standard but uh, people i guess got in a fight up towards the front of the stage uh i couldn't see it i was in the back uh i don't like being the person that's like up front hogging the rail at events because there's no room up there and i'm, I'm a big dude i got a big frame you know i'm like six four pushing uh, almost 220 give or take you know it goes up and down so i don't like being crowded in there especially because every time i go to these events i wear a kilt and you know like, when you're just surrounded by that many people, like, your fucking balls just start dripping. And it's <laughs> and it's pretty bad when you get in these tight areas, especially when you go to, like, EDC or something in Vegas. You know, it's 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 a fucking swamp down there. It's it's really something else. You fucking, I got... <laughs> no, I can swear to God, I can get enough ball sweat coming off my fucking dick to fill up my shoes. All right? Like, some sort of freaking shot glass. It's brutal. Speaking of shot glass... Got myself a drink here. It's delicious. It's, uh, I'm not going to give away what kind of whiskey because obviously I'm not getting paid for this shit. So I'm not going to freaking 
hop these people up, but it's just whiskey and Coke. It's freaking awesome. Why not? It's a weekend. It's Sunday. So, uh, back to my main point. This channel is going to be me no, talking about stuff. I have no video experience at all. I have no elect electrical fucking background. I don't know how to post videos or this shit. So these videos are going to be short and sweet. They're real. They're not cut. There's no censorship here. It's about me just talking about whatever. I'm going to record these things front to back without any editing. So you're not going to fucking see any jumping around like you would see in other videos. You see other guys on YouTube, they got these channels where they run through like 30 minutes worth of information in like five minutes. And it's just like cut back and forth. You just see one guy over here is like, oh, we're going to talk about the new um, fucking GoPro Hero 4. And then over here it's like, oh, this guy fucked a monkey on the GoPro Hero 4. And then the other guy's like, oh, the fucking Hero 4 is up this guy's ass or something. No. This is just straightforward front back. You know, hopefully you guys get a laugh out of it or something, or you you can uh, just take my opinions and you can either agree with me, disagree with me, whatever the hell you want to do. I don't give a shit. So, that being said, I'm going to get back to the story of uh, the New Year's. We were over there and uh, at this event, and one thing that kind of pissed me off was I took my girlfriend to it, and she's not really a social type of person. She's uh, She was raised very sheltered, if you will. And, you know, spent her whole life going to colleges and, you know, being fucking stuck in books. She has no real world experience. And, um, you know, which is all fine and all. But it it really gets annoying at times like this. I mean, I, I freaking do care about her a lot. And I'm not really complaining about her in general. It's just what happened at this one part. It's pretty funny. Uh, but it's kind of annoying. So um, we're sitting there at the event. I'm in the back, you know, dancing, having a good time. I freaking had some drinks, had a little bit of, uh, you know, that stuff. And so I'm sitting back there and I'm dancing. And I see this uh, girl off to my right side. She's a, a bigger girl, if you will. She's not huge, but she's bigger. I guess you, uh, you can call it your standard American size, so average. And so, you know, she's dancing over there. I kind of look out like, yeah, this girl's throwing down. Oh, fuck it, it's pretty cool. And I... Pointed my, I nudged my friend. I'm like, dude, this chick's fucking getting it over here. It's pretty sweet. And he was like, yeah. So night goes on. She sees me dancing over here with my buddies. And she comes in and fucking starts dancing in front of me. And as soon as this happens, I, I, I automatically think, shit. I have a girlfriend who gets super jealous really easy. I back up at least five feet from her. I do not want her within freaking arm's reach. I'm not getting in trouble for this. She came to me. And it's funny because I automatically think this. I back up. I keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, and then, you know, she dances for a little bit. Then she takes off. And so um, the next morning I wake up and my girlfriend rolls over, looks at me, and she goes, you danced with a girl last night. I was like, are you fucking kidding me like she came to me first off i didn't follow her around i didn't say a damn word to her i didn't touch her i was nowhere near her. i'm not twerking on her and she's like yeah but you these girls are coming up to you and hitting on you and i tell her i was like if i recall this dude came up to you this black guy started hitting on you and you didn't do shit about it he fucking came up started like dancing with you talking to you and all this crap and eventually i had to go in there and fucking like not pull the guy off, but, you know, I had to go in and be like, hey, you know, this is my girl. What I did was I went up, I stood next to her and grabbed her hand. You know, you know, she's my girlfriend, so I grabbed her hand and I was like, hey, you know, and then the guy standing there, I was like, hey, man, how's it going? He was like, yeah, what's up? I was like, yep, yeah, what's up? What's going on? He was like, well, you got a problem? I was like, no. I was like, like, dude, I'm fucking here with my girlfriend. He's like, oh, Shit, you know, you're with your girlfriend? I didn't know she was yours. And he apologized and he left. It was all good. But it's just kind of funny how this fucking dude just sits here and he gets all defensive like I'm like stealing his Kool-Aid or some shit. It's fucking brutal. It's like, dude, it's my girl. Get it off her. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be a dick and start a fight with you or anything. But, you know, come on. If you see some other guy walking up, there's probably a good chance that he's with her, she's with him, or she doesn't want to fucking talk to you. Or maybe this dude is already working on it. Once if she wasn't my girlfriend and I was already working on this chick. And then you just come in. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to fucking defend my 
not my property, but my fucking territory. So, that happens. And uh, I was hung out with my friend later that next day. And uh, he t uh, he said he saw it from his point of view. He was like, hey, man, you know, when that girl came over and started dancing with you, I automatically fucking looked back to your girlfriend, and she's standing there just fucking, what is going on? What the fuck is he doing? That motherfucker's, been, he's trying to cheat on me. I swear to God, I'm going to murder him. And then, you know, my friend tells me, he looks at her, he just looks at her, he's like, dude, this is going to be fucking brutal. He already knows the storm that's coming. Luckily, it's one of those freaking false weather alerts that you hear. So, like, the some clouds came over, got a little bit dreary, but then it cleared out. Nothing really happened. So, that was good. Let's see. What else? Uh, so yeah, with the new year coming back, uh, let's see. What was it? Tuesday was my first day back at work. Uh, I work in an office setting in the, you know, and I live here in the San Diego area. And there's another thing that's fucking irritating about this. Uh, people don't understand how holidays work. I don't, I don't, I don't get why employers don't fucking understand that when the holidays come around, you check out basically. You don't fucking give a crap about what needs to be done and when. And even if you did, you usually get most of it done before the holidays. So you don't have to worry about it after the new year. And so the first day back at work, I'm walking into my office and, uh, one of my sales or the salesman comes walking up to me. He sees me get out of my truck. I'm not even in the door yet. I get out of my truck. I'm carrying my box. I got my lunch and shit in it for the week. And I'm walking into our building. I'm not even inside yet. And he comes up to me. And he says, hey, Parks, what are you working on today? I tell him, I was like, man, I have no idea. And then he gets fucking defensive. He's like, well, fuck, I guess that's what I'm going to have to tell the owner. I'm going to send him an email telling him to say, you don't know what you're doing today. I was like, dude, I'm not even in the fucking door yet. Have you noticed? It is January 3rd. We've been off for the last four fucking days. I am, like, I don't know. You gotta let me get in the fucking door. Do you guys have that problem? Let me know. Has anybody out there actually had that problem where you just have fucking, you work with people that are absolutely retarded and they don't notice it? Even when you point it out to them, they still go, oh, no, no, I wasn't being stupid. I was just trying to, and they try to dance around it, and they come up with an excuse of why they did what they did, which might make sense in a way. But if you actually look at it in the long run, it's like, you're just, you're fucking dumb. That's all it comes down to. The same guy. You're going to hear me bitch about this guy a lot, probably. The same guy. He's our sales guy. He's in charge of talking to the customer. He's the face of our company. And I've gotten emails from this guy. You know, just in-house emails. They don't go out. Actually, no, I've seen some actually go out to customers and I've been copied on them. And the fucker has no grammar. He he doesn't know how to type properly. Words are misspelled. He uh, puts punctuation where it shouldn't go. I remember... Uh, he sent an email out to us once. It, I can't remember the exact wording, but he comes up and he says in the email, he's like, just a reminder, I'm planning on being out this weekend? With a question mark. I was like, are you planning on being out this weekend? Are you not answering your phone? What's the deal? What's going on? And then the fuck, like he, you know, uh, Capital letters where they shouldn't be, misspelled words. It's it's brutal. I mean, I can go on for hours about it, but, you know, I got other shit I got to be bitching about over here to keep you guys entertained. Or not entertained. I don't give a fuck. If you want to watch this and you, like I say, if you like watching this and just to listen to someone bitch and so you can just, you know, agree with me or disagree with me, if, maybe I can give you something to bitch at. Maybe you watch this video and you go, look at this fucking guy in his stupid V-neck shirt and his dumbass green hat. What the fuck happened? Did you have like some radioactive pterodactyl shit on your fucking face and you didn't decide to pull it off? Who the fuck wears neon green beanies anyway? We some dumbass hipster that lives in fucking like San Francisco? I have no idea. I've never like I haven't been to San Francisco in years. Last time I was there as a little kid, I have no fucking idea what goes on up there. Last time I heard it's just, you know, 
electronics and gay people. I guess, I don't know, they're going to have fucking gay robots fucking floating around all fairy-like soon. You get to polish their shaft. They can check your oil. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see, uh, other things, you know, I've noticed about the new year is, you know, I'm a, I am go to the gym about three or four times a week. I try to keep myself in shape. I used to be really overweight a couple of years ago. I wasn't happy with it, you know. Fuck, I wasn't attractive. I was angry all the time. Fuck, it, it's just, it's, it's brutal. It, like, how much I noticed that just being fat was just wrecking my life. And now, you know, for the last couple of years, I've been going to the gym consistently um, to where I was actually able to drop a lot of weight, which is good because I figured, hell, I want to get laid again. Because nobody wants to fucking be fucking some dude. And she's laying on her back missionary style and you have your tits rubbing against her tits. <laughs> fucking both your nipples are getting fucking rug burning shit because I got hair around my fucking nipples and I don't fucking shave it off. It's, it's brutal. Like, no one, no woman wants that. Nobody wants that fucking big sweaty guy that every time he fucking rolls over on top of you, you, you start to black out and start thinking, oh shit, this might be the end. Death by manatee. <laughs> It's fucking brutal, but anyway, fucking going when going back to the gym, it's 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 kind of a fucking nightmare at the beginning of the year. I call it uh, the uh, the her or the the migration of the whales is how it goes down for me, because you know at the beginning of every year, if you're a gym goer, you guys know this. If you're uh, new to the gym, and let's say you did start a New Year's resolution and you decide to go to the gym. Uh, you may not know this. Uh, that actually might be a, a reason why a lot of people get deterred because the gym gets packed at the beginning of the year. Everybody makes these New Year's resolutions. I'm going to get in shape. That's not round. Or, uh, I don't want to look like a fucking amoeba floating around the fucking city in my goddamn Ford Taurus with my steering wheel fucking pressed into my stomach while I got fucking, you know, Toblerones fucking sticking out of my cleavage that melt all the way down into my fucking belly button into my pants. Fucking sit there. I mean, like, fucking fat fucks got milk chocolate drip down their fucking front end all the way into their pants. It looks like they leaned back too far and tried to fucking squeeze off a little beefer and fucking had a blowout and squirt it up through their belt into their chin. Like war paint. <laughs> Going into battle with fucking ass monsters. It's brutal. But anyway, so you go in there and the, the fucking migration of the whales comes through. It gets packed. It's really annoying. All of the fucking treadmills are just filled. Like, I don't use the treadmill. I hate it. I don't... I hate running. I'm still a big guy. You know, I'm, I'm down to, like I said, around 220. I'm 6'4". You know, and I hate running. It hurts my knees. It hurts everything. It gives me a fucking headache. I get winded really easy. Even though I do play racquetball uh, twice a week, you know, which is a very active game. It's a fun game. If you guys never tried it, give it a go. But, you know, it, it's just it's hard in there because you get all these new people that are just walking around. They, they don't know what they're doing. They've never been to a gym before. If they have, it's been years. They forgot how to do everything. You can see them just staring at machines, fucking lost, not doing them correctly. Fucking just hogging them. And then it's even worse when you get these these groups of fucking people that come in. Like, even the kids. Now, I mean kids, you know, early 20s, late teens. They come in with their buddies like, yeah, dude, we're going to get buffed this year. Fucking going to have this beach bod good to go. I'm going to have my fucking six pack that I'm going to take 800 selfies with and fucking post it all over Facebook so I can have that fucking one fat girl that still has a crush on me gawk at him as she fucking fists her muff in her fucking lonely basement eating fucking cookie dough ice cream. But, you know, those guys, they get into the gym and they don't fucking work out. They just sit in front of machines and they talk to each other and they, they just fucking take up space and it's irritating. I hate when guys just get on machines and don't fucking use them. It's annoying. 
there's this one dude at the one of the gyms I go to, and I uh, I, I saw it. I was uh, I wanted to go in. I wanted to use bench, flat bench. I was going to do some fucking you know, just the dumbbell uh, press for a chest workout. And I, I walked in, and they only have uh, at this location. They have two flat benches, and then you know they have some inclined ones, and then straight up ones. Uh, and so I go over there and the two are taken. There's a woman on one and then uh, there's a bag set next to the other. And I was like, all right, you know, they're both taken. I'll do incline, get the, the upper part of the muscle taken care of. And then, you know, I'll go back to it later. So I do, uh, you know, like fucking 10 sets total on that one bench because I had two different workouts. I was doing five sets at each workout. I look over there between sets. The, no one went back to that bag. I was like, all right, you know, maybe he's taking a shit, getting some water. Maybe he's one of those guys just fucking yaps. I don't know. So I went over to a different machine, did five reps on, like, the T-bar row machine. Looked back over there. Still nothing. Guy's not there. Never came back. Went over to a a third machine. Went over there. Did some of these fucking, like, lat pull-down dealies. The straight-on ones. Another five sets, you know. So this has been about 10, 15 minutes uh, while I'm getting through all this. And nobody went back to this fucking bag. So I was like, fuck it. I'm using this bench. I went over there. I freaking lay down. I grab my weights. I get one set in. Sit there. Take like a minute break. I know a minute may seem a lot to you. Some guys are out there like, fuck you, dude. You should only do like 30 seconds. Whatever. I was doing a minute because I was doing heavy that week. So... I do one set, take my minute break, look around, still nobody. Lay back down, do my second set, sit back up. Another minute, sitting there. Lay back down for the third time. As soon as I lay down, guy comes up. This dude's got to be like five, five, six. But this dude is jacked, fucking jacked. This guy has muscles on his fucking ears. This guy's so jacked, okay? Bald head, but he's short. He's like ha- almost like half my size, it seems. And the guy comes over. He's like, hey, man, I'm using this bench. I was like, really? doesn't look like it because nobody's been here for like 10 minutes. He's like, bullshit, dude. I was fucking using this bench. That's my bag. And he starts getting defensive. He gets in my face. You know, I'm already kind of pissed off because I've got pre-workout and I hate when people do this crap. And I was like, dude, you've been gone for 10 minutes. And he was like, bullshit. I just went over there to do a couple of sets on that machine. I was like, oh. I was like okay, even if it wasn't 10 minutes. Either way, you can't be hogging machines. It's either you fucking using this one or you're using that one. You can't use three or four of them. It doesn't work that way, dude. There are fucking a shit ton of people here, and, like, everyone needs to filter through this crap. Fucking pick it or fucking pick that. And so, you know, he fucking starts getting all defensive, kind of getting in my face. He's like, you know what? Fuck you. No, this is my bench. If you want to work in, you should just ask. And I was like, I didn't want to deal with it. I was already fucking fucking pissed off. So I put my weights back on the rack and I walked away. I'm not going to get in this guy's face because even though he is smaller than me, like height-wise, I bet you he could have freaking thrown me over that building like a fucking Frisbee. Looked like like a fucking Olympian discus thrower. See me just fucking spinning through the air. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's just, it's brutal. Other, You know what? He's also one of those guys that freaking slams the weights. Let me tell you this. If you're one of those guys that slams weights, you're a fucking ape. If you can't fucking grab the weight and put it back down on the floor with some sort of, like, restraint, you can't, if you can't do that. If you have to drop it from, like, three feet up, it's too heavy. It's too heavy for you. Stop trying to be that fucking goddamn gorilla that's like, I'm the biggest one in the fucking pride and I got to make sure everybody knows it. Sitting there just fucking making all this noise, fucking sweating and, you know, you don't wipe the machines off, you're throwing weights around like some goddamn idiot. Be considerate for those around you. Had this guy fucking drop like a 75 or, yeah, 75 pound dumbbell from like three feet up, it bounced and almost landed on my foot. I was fucking, I was so pissed. Again, it's one of those, it's always the fucking dude that's like fucking like, you know, ripped as shit. He looks like he can tear a phone book in half just with his fucking buttocks. Stick it right between his asshole and just rip it apart. But, whatever, just, it's irritating. 
Does any, have you guys had any bad stuff happen this year? Have you guys had a good year? I'd like to know. You know, you know leave a comment down below if you want or not. I don't give a shit. And, you know, I'm pretty much going to wrap this one up. This is a, it's a short one. I, I think i got to keep these to about 30 minutes. I tried recording one earlier today, and it went for about 35 minutes, and my phone just stopped it, like, like at 30 minutes. I don't know why. I guess it got full or something. Then it start, but it started a new video. I couldn't figure out how to get them together. Like I said, I don't know anything about editing videos. I'm doing all this on a phone. I'm uploading it from my phone. I don't want to dick with the computers. I don't want to do it. So if you guys ever see this shit just cut out or something, they fucking, sorry, that's the end of it. That's just the way it goes. It's all being done super easy. And if you like, and since it's also on my phone, you guys might hear like text messages and other stupid random crap come through or phone calls. That would be the worst. The end is I gotta fucking start all over. So yeah, like I said, this is Parks' rant. I am Parks. Uh, I'll try to post videos whenever I can. Whatever some shit just pisses me off or I see something cool, I'll let you guys know. And then you can, like I said, sit here and fucking laugh at me, hate me, love me, fucking whatever. Do whatever you want. Just don't send me dick pics because I want to fucking see it. And uh, so, yeah, have a, you guys have a good week, and I'll talk to you later. Go fuck yourself.